I'm very passionate about AHG. A couple years ago, I was looking for a quality scouting program to help me as a single mother to raise my adopted daughter. But I simply was not satisfied with what was available to us. In a book I was reading about raising daughters, there was a plug for AHG, and together with a friend, we forged our own troop of this Christ Center program. We bit off way more than most people would even attempt that first year, but God's grace and love guided each one of our steps. At the joining ceremony, we asked our girls to carry their candles into the darkness, and what we saw at the end of the year was that they had reached out to those who were really suffering. They wrapped blankets around cancer patients, and what they were really doing was wrapping those patients with God's love. Um, they comforted and abused children with simple treasures. Um, my own daughter, <laughs> who is generally somewhat selfish because she's an only child and very spoiled, <laughs> surprised me at Christmas time. We had a few extra boxes of candies that didn't get sold, and um, she heard Crystal and I talking about how we would just simply donate them. I guess she heard that. And um, she secretly went into her room and she made some Christmas cards. And she said, Mom, I want to help you pass out those candies. And I had already had a plan to go to one of the assisted living facilities where I work, um, where there's a lot of people who don't have any families there. They were transferred from another assisted living facility that got shut down by the state for, um, uh, what do you call it, health violations. And um, she went in there, and she's really very shy when she, you know, um, but she, um, she put on her uniform and she wore it very proudly and to see the, the faces of the, the women and the men who she gave those candies to and just to see how they lit up when they saw her um, just made me know that what I was doing was a, was a good thing. So um, at the end of our year, um, I, I never expected uh, this to happen, but one of the girls came up to me and she gave me a great big hug and she thanked me for starting this program for her and her new friends. So I thank Patty for having the vision. Um, I, I think you're a tremendous woman. I, I hope that someday I can live up to the same standards that you do because I, I just think AHG is a tremendous program and I will go to my grave you know, taunting the, 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 the greatness of AHG. So, I told you, so you know, I, come, I, I have a scouting family, okay? And the reason I got involved with scouting is because I know that God has a plan and purpose for everybody. And I, as a father, am called to help equip my young men for the job that you to do. And I was lacking with my daughters and American Heritage Girls comes into place. Now, it didn't hit me until the first, uh, our first court of honor, when all of a sudden they're going over all the things that these girls have done. These little, you know, from five years old up to 18, where they took and had uh, collected diapers for uh, pre pregnancy crisis center. They had um, baked Christmas cards and went to the uh, nursing homes for the forgotten. They had raised money for tsunami victims in, in Japan. They, ra they, they took and had food drives for the hungry. And, and, it, and it just hammered me as a father that these little girls are Christ to the world. They are impacting these little girls from, from, from a little town in Texas are changing the world in the name of Christ. Wow, what a program. Mm -hmm. So that's why they're part of AD. Uh, tissue time? <laughs> oh, no, we'll see. Um, what is AHG? It is a Christ Center character development program for girls 5 to 18. And the best way to describe it is three years ago, a dear friend of mine and her daughter started an AHG. And she would not talk to anybody other than my daughter. Literally, she's autistic. No social interaction availability at all. Um, in the last couple of months, she has gotten up and made speeches to the city council. She's presented her, her Stars and Stripes project to the VFW. She's going to be doing a welcome home parade this November for the Vietnam veterans the first ever Veterans Day parade in Lake Dallas, and she's had to do all the presentations for that. That's talking in front of not just people, in front of strangers, <laughs> autistic people who struggle with speech and talking to people. They don't talk to strangers. They certainly don't get up in front of the city council and present anything.
three years, she has come from not talking to anybody to now making presentations. And that's what HG has meant and made a difference in her life and in ours.